with a boggart, or, or shapeshifter, if you will, uh, which takes the form of whatever scares you most. This one took the form oh, of a demigeyse. A demigeyse? <gasps> yes! Terrifying creature that can see the future. Wholly unnerving. I encountered one when I was a lad in Korea. Terrible experience. Uh, those statues are demigeyses. The moons, I assume, are an uninspired play on my name. Some jackanapes used a boggart to learn my greatest fear and use it against me. I am my son. How's it going, everyone? Welcome back to more Hogwarts Legacy. Um, today, we're actually, we were going to do lots of side stuff. I know I said that in the last episode. But there's a caretaker, the caretaker's lunar lament, which unlocks Aloe Amora, which we really need. Um, and then we've also got um, the beast class, which maybe we'll hold off on the beast class because it's going to be more collecting stuff. Um, but we definitely need to go do caretaker's lament, basically because it's going to help us um, find stuff, essentially. So let's go do this. Be nice to get this spell. Let's go. Off on another adventure, are we? Always. Okay. There's the caretaker. Hello again, Mr. Moon. I was hoping to see you again, my young friend. Uh, Gladwin Moon, a Hogwarts caretaker, at your service. First, uh, please allow me to apologize if I seemed a bit uh, unsteady when we last met. I'm afraid I had a rather disconcerting encounter. Although I hear your visit to Hogsmeade was even more eventful than mine. I suppose you could call it eventful. I certainly wasn't expecting a troll attack. Oh, of course not. Uh, and from what I understand, the village was lucky you were there. In fact, my recent visit to Hogsmeade is the reason I was hoping to bump into you. I could use your help with something. Do you see that curious statue over there? Watch what happens when that light changes from day to night. If you wouldn't mind humoring me for a moment, see if you can remove the moon from the statue. Oh, odd oh. little contraptions, aren't they? It seems the statue vanishes once the moon is removed, which, incidentally, can only be done at night. Uh, why don't you hold on to that one for now, and I'll explain more as we walk. Uh, ever since that fateful day in the village, those curious like side statues have begun appearing about the castle. A fair number have been strewn around Hogsmeade. Someone, it seems, is trying to torment me. You see, that day in Hogsmeade, I turned a corner and came face to face with a boggart, or, or shapeshifter, if you will, uh, which takes the form of whatever scares you most. This one took the form oh, of a demigeyse. A demigeyse? <gasps> yes! Terrifying creature that can see the future. Wholly unnerving. I encountered one when I was a lad in Korea. Terrible experience. Uh, those statues are demigeyses. The moons, I assume, are an uninspired play on my name. Some jackanapes used a boggart to learn my greatest fear and use it against me. I have my suspicion as to the scoundrel or scoundrels responsible. It is my hope that they will slip up and reveal themselves <laughs> as the statues disappear. That is why I need your help in removing the statues. Why right. me? A couple of reasons, frankly. Uh, first, your daring do against those trolls in Oxmead has gained you a reputation for fearlessness. Second, as macabre and hideous as a demiguise is, most would find my fear of them unwarranted. You, however, have seen how they affect me. I'm at my wit's end, young friend. I simply can't bring myself to go near them. In fact, 
I know of two statues right here in the faculty tower. Perhaps you could start simply by removing them, so uh, I can go about my evening duties. Okay. I'd be glad to help you, Mr. Moon. Oh, I knew I could count on you. Uh, first, you know how to cast a disillusionment charm, correct? Mm hmm You'll want to do that before wandering the tower at night. Uh, next, you'll notice that the door is locked. However will you get in? Hmm. Alahamora, that's how. But what about curfew? Curfew? Oh, tosh. I sense <sighs> you're a bit like me when I was your age. Oh, the school was my oyster. <laughs> And I took advantage of it. Oh, everyone loved me for it. <laughs> oh, those were the days. Uh, now, you'll find one statue in the prefect's bathroom and the other in the hospital wing. Good luck. Oh, and thank you. All right, let's do this. Boom. Oh, I mean, we got it easy, but a bit more to that one. Alohomora. Oh, he's to move the spot. Okay. Yeah, I'm both spinning. Got it. Well done. You're in. Remember, use a disillusionment charm so no one. Tell me, I have to do that with all of them. Jesus. This is a restricted area of the castle, after all. Ravenia. Okay. Prefix. How are your students getting along this year? Rather poorly, I'd say. Is that so? We're good. Revelio. Oh, well, there are people up there. This must be the prefect's bathroom. Goblins comes near me. I'll send him the cat. 
Okay. I'll go up more. Yeah, keep going up. On you do not belong here. Damn it. Oh wow, rude. Alright, these just have to go back to the top. No. Plenty of other perils and pitfalls to send them my way, though. Got it. I suppose Professor Jan is but the students are terribly disappointed about Quidditch being cancelled. Huh. I had planned to bet a few galleons on Hufflepuff. Okay, got it. Level two lot. Made it. Oh, no. I'm back. Hello, Mr. Moon. I have the moons you asked me to collect. Oh, goodness. You're as fearless as an oat. An excellent start. If we can collect more, it may shed some light on who's behind all this. Of course, I first suspected Peeves. He drove the previous caretaker, rancorous carp, to an early retirement with his intolerable buffoonery. But that does not explain the bogger in Oxmead, does it? No. I am determined, with your help, to discover the identity of my tormentor. I'll be glad to help. It's definitely intriguing. I'd like to help you solve this mystery. Uh, you, my friend, are a gentle person and a, a scholar. And I have something to offer in exchange for your assistance. Now, remember, the moons are only retrievable at night. Thus, I encourage you to use a disillusionment when necessary. All right. Understood. I shall keep an eye out. I appreciate that. Nice. Oh, and I knew you were the one to ask for help. Uh, keep at it so we can solve this mystery. You got it. Oh, do I want to do creatures beast class? Do I want to do beast class? Do we want to do Beast class. I 
think we do. I think we do. Oh. I think we do. In fact, no, we Rebellion. don't. No, we don't. No, we don't. Can I just walk around now or this still? Still off the limit. Uh, need my chart, spider and a five, eight, thirteen, zero, boom. Rebellion. Then we got a three, five, need nine, the Kraken. And we're in. Well, this is where the thingy dies in Harry Potter. This is sad. Faculty Tower. Revelio. Alohomora. I wanted to see if there's any skills to help with that because that is tedious. Rebellion. My oh dear, you'll be overjoyed the local children. Stop soon. Yeah, do we have any talents for that? Doesn't look like it. Wigan world, enemies. Revelio. Revelio. I do say that one. All right. Revelio. That's level two. Let's have a size of lock. Mind staff. Oh, we can do this. Wait for it. Wait to slap it. Oh. <laughs> Thought he was going for it. Yes, got it. Right. Five more of those. Hmm. Bet the kitty. All right. Okay, guys, I think we're going to make this bit of a short episode. Um, I think it's pretty cool just... I've been waiting so long to get out of Amora that we'll leave that one like this. If you enjoyed the episode, make sure you go hit the like button, subscribe, Mr. Paulie. Go and have yourselves a beautiful day and bye-bye.